Hello crafty friends and welcome to this Stamping September video. For today's card I did some stenciling and then some stamping over my stenciling. And for my stencil I created my own. I took some vellum and used scissors to cut out an oval shape. I chose to use vellum because it was the only see-through material that I had to hand. You could use a piece of acetate or plastic packaging for this. I wasn't happy with my first attempt at cutting an oval though, so I ended up cutting a second and that was fine. Before stenciling, I put a card panel on my grip mat and used washi tape to keep the stencil still. The panel is made from mixed media paper and I chose this because I wanted to blend on some Catherine Pooler inks and for me, they blend best on this kind of paper. I chose the Catherine Pooler inks because they're translucent and when you layer them one on top of the other, you get a new colour that's a mix of the two. Right, now for the stenciling. I picked three ready orange colours, It's a Girl, which is a red, do -si do which is a red orange, and Bellini, which is an orange. I started with It's a Girl in the top left corner, gradually building up the colour to get a smooth, solid blend. When I was happy, I moved the stencil down and to the right a bit, and then blended on the do -si do overlapping the first shape a little bit to get that new colour, that blend of It's a Girl and do -si do Finally, I moved the stencil down and to the left and added Bellini, again overlapping it with the previous circle to get a new colour, a blend of Bellini and do -si do I gave my stenciling a little time to dry and smooth out and then I put the panel into my stamp positioner for stamping. I dusted the panel with corn flour to remove any static moisture or grease because I wanted to do some heat embossing and then I placed the stencil back over the first colour to act as a mask for my stamping. My plan was to stamp in black some leaf shapes and then heat emboss them with clear embossing powder to make them shiny and a little bit dimensional. So I stamped the branch, the first branch, with stays on ink, which is very black. I then cleaned my stamp with baby wipe and then stamped it a couple of times more with embossing ink to make it really sticky. I then dipped the card into the clear embossing powder and melted it with my heat tool. And I did this whole process two more times using two different branch stamps. So I've got a different black, glossy, slightly dimensional branch on each of the three oval shapes. So as this is a stamping September video, I thought I'd ask, what are your favourite types of stamps to use on your cards? I have lots of different types of stamps that I like to use on cards, but my absolute favourites are grungy, mixed media, background type stamps. I love the look that I get when I layer them with other media. They just add so much depth and interest and visual texture. So let me know in the comments, what are your favourite types of stamps to use on your cards? Once all my embossing was cooled and set, I used tape runner to stick my card panel onto a card blank, which I trimmed down to give the panel a narrow white border. I think this can really set off a card and makes quite a lot of difference. If you want to add a bit more colour to your card, you could always use one of the inks or a blend of the inks to colour your border before you stick your panel on top. For a sentiment, I chose a Love You More stamp in a typewriter font. I didn't want the more part though, so I covered that with washi, inked up my stamp with stays on, and then removed the washi before adding the stamp to the card. And this is a great way to adapt your sentiment stamps so they say exactly what you want them to say. I nestled the sentiment stamp in between the top and the bottom ovals and that was just the perfect size gap there and that's this card done i hope you found this video helpful and it's given you an idea to use in your own card making 
If it has, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and I will see you back here very soon for another Stamping September video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.